up, YouTube? It is your boy, Airsoft Fatty, bringing you another video today. And this is a very cool video because this is showcasing the deck that if you guess the record I'm going to break, or not break with set, this is the deck you'll be getting. So this is my prize psychic deck. So to start with, we're going to go through the Pokemon, the trainers, and how many energies I run. So I run a level 100 Arceus. And what you're going to realize is a lot of these cards are from other sets and stuff. That's just these are from cards that I've made over time. Level 100 Arceus. It's just a really good card. With Mind Bend, the defending Pokemon is confused with 4 damage. That's fucking great for a card that costs 3, three energy. Next up, I run Spiritomb. Mainly just for Darkness Grays. Search your deck for a Pokemon that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it to the Pokemon. This costs is evolving the Pokemon. If you do, put a damage counter on Spiritomb. Shuffle your deck afterwards. It's a really good search card. A uh, really good get your heavy hitters out there card. I love it. Next up, I run two Golet because that's high uh, HP and then 40 damage per pound. One Golurk for Devilation Punch and Ghost Hammer with 130 health. Two Scroopy from two different decks. I don't know how to tell which is which. One has Poison Sting for one point. Flip a coin if heads defending Pokemon is not poison. That's mainly what this one's for. This one is for its poison sting, for the 10 damage plus that possibility of poison. One Muna for sleep. It only knows Jean, so that's good. One Dano for uh, Power Breath. This card, an energy card attached to this Pokemon. 30 damage, I mean, that's not too bad for a placeholder. What's up? A Bronzor, that's what's up, and a shiny one. Mainly for Hypnosis and Confuse Ray. One Soul Rock. Mainly for Luna Turn. I don't know why I have that in this deck. It just doesn't work. One Grimer. I'm trying my best. My phone's kind of up here while my hands are down here, and I'm trying to make sure. You guys get a good look. One grabber for a division. Well, not for a division, but for poison gas, excuse me. Division, if you had more grimers, I might edit this deck and put another grimer in or something. Surviper for Tailblade. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent can't play a trainer card from his her is from his or her hand during your opponent's next turn. Plus twenty points of damage for one energy. It's fucking amazing. One level 70 Giratina for a Dragon Claw and Dragon Breath. Flip a coin. If this attack does nothing, if heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. I run two Crystalia for that good damage. It does 80 damage minus 10 damage for each damage counter on Crystalia. So she's good just to get her out to do heavy damage real fast and then get rid of her. One Gothitelle. Two Gotharitas. Two Gothitas. Pretty basic. So those are the Pokemon. My favorites probably... I'm going to do favorites with these. Um... Honestly, who was my favorite? I don't have a favorite. They're all equally good. Up next are my trainers. I won one Clint. Search your deck for three basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them in your hand and shuffle the deck. That is for getting energy, like, 
you're going to realize this deck is all about getting energy. Charon, just one. Draw three cards. Heavy Ball, search your deck for a Pokemon with a retreat cost of three or more. Reveal it and put it to your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. The shuffle power gets you to draw more better cards. One, Professor, Professor Cosmos Discovery. Um... Flip of coins. If heads, draw up the bottom three cards of your deck. If tails, draw the top two cards of your deck. It's draw power. It's good. It's a broken card. Two, Pokemon Communications. Reveal a Pokemon in your hand put it at the top of your deck. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle the deck afterwards. Again, it's getting your cards to your hand. Two, no, three Energy Retrievals. One looks different because it's from a different box, but it does essentially the same thing. Search your deck for a basic energy card. No, this one just says one. These two do two. Two energy search. Search your deck for a basic energy, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck afterwards. Then I run one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen energy cards. So I'll give you an example of a hand that draws. It's a really good deck for a beginner. Got the deck. Draw. And then draw for turn. I would play a Charon. One, two, three. I think you can only play one support card per turn. I would use Heavy Oil. To search my deck for a Pokemon with a retreat cost of three or more. I would choose Golar. Then put up my Gothita. Put that Gothita there. Golurk here, and Grimer. So you have four Pokemon already out on the field. Equip an energy to Gothita. Look at the top five cards of the deck, put them back in the top of the deck in any order. Use her uh, attack. One, two, three, four, five. Go through, put them back in any order. I choose that order. Then my opponent would go, they draw, they done, I draw my card, then I would choose Then I would go with Trainer, Professor Cosmos Discovery. We'll use this as a coin if it lands on the kitty side up, that means I draw the top two cards, bottom side, 